anybody pick that up? I hope so. The slaps. It was a slapping. It was a. It was a. I got somewhere to be after this tournament. I don't have time to be playing no best of five kind of games. It was. Also, by the way, Miles is now completely collision. True. Yep. Okay. Yeah. We, as we discussed earlier, the collision pass going to the highest placing non-registrant. He passes. And uh, that is Miles for sure. Okay. But uh, this is going to be the gun back. Yes. You know, when we said we saw maybe a dominance of John Nambu, the likes of which that we do not often get to see. Right. The way that Miles is just able to move around him offstage with the amount of confidence, with the amount of maneuverability. Man, he is playing good today. He is playing excellent today, in fact. And honestly, like, I feel like a huge factor that we didn't really get to talk too much. <gasps> oh, my what goodness. What was that call out? <laughs> it was he almost had good. It. it was almost good. Okay. One of the huge factors, though, is as good as Miles was off stage, also just so very good at covering the options, <laughs> just like that. Unfortunately, though, that's going to be John Numbers giving a little bit of a show. He thought Numbers was going to go off stage, but nope, he leaned back in. He was able to get that F tilt. And now that is the first time in the entire set and a half that they have played that he has a lead. He had a lead, excuse me. It was uh, a good 10 seconds. <laughs> it was a good 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, OK. Back off onto the ledge here. This could be a big opportunity, but good air dodge in for John. Oh, yeah. I like that. Uh, he finds a little down in, into the up air as well. So much <laughs> damage. I, I heard one down air, and I looked down and saw 61. 72 now. I love Yoshi, baby. Yeah. Oh, and the down special, too. Hold on. Ooh, okay. Near to kind of make some space. Trying to find an edge guard. Oh, no. no. The only way to actually punish Yoshi off stage. <laughs> That's it. That his, is it. His one weakness. Okay. And, and his some footstool. Good damage, too. Oh, my goodness. All right. We might be in here for a while. This is looking like a very different John Numbers Woo! than that winner's finals. Oh, yeah. But okay, okay. Miles, you know, trying to get that uh, egg. Not able to Ooh. actually space it out. He is wave landing mm -hmm. a lot this game. Putting the pressure on, but Numbers look good. Jump in and stage control getting the back throw. Some time for deep breathing which is going to make sure that up air takes it. And John Numbers taking game one in what might be the first set of Grand Finals. What a different game. So different. We didn't get to see any of the things we were able to talk about in winner's finals. There were At almost all. no edge guarding, no I ledge mean, pressure. There is definitely a discussion to be had of just like the fact that Numbers is like pretty one right now, especially when you consider uh, Steelix and Miles both in terms of style. Mm -hmm. I think one of the first things that comes to mind is both of the aggression off stage and how keen they both are to be able to look through those spikes. Okay. John, in order to win that last set, he had to be cognizant of that. He had to be really ready and warm in that. And so after he got beat up for it enough times for Miles, you know, he knows a thing or two on how to be able to deal with it this time. Right, he didn't right. get spiked. He didn't get any, you know, edge guards against him. He kept alive. That is a good point, too, because, like, before that match in Winners Finals, John had to play Helper. And I can't say that Sora is, like, the litmus test for, like, off-the-stage pressure, you know? like He John can be at times, depending yes, on the yeah, style. Yeah. But not in the same way that Falco and Yoshi are. I feel like Falco and Yoshi have a very similar kind of pressure that they're exerting. They want those funny little spikes. So, yeah, John is definitely a little more warmed up for that. And we'll see how that shakes out. But maybe Miles will warm up as well, finally back on the sticks in grands after waiting in winner's side for so long. We'll see how it unfolds here in game two oh, yeah. on small battlefield. And but just immediately opening off so aggressively with that dash attack, Miles saying, you know what? Hey, I got one of those too, I think. Uh, also, I'm loving John's immediate air dodge outs lately. <laughs> just, uh, you know what? I'm taking a long way back. Do not come out here to edge guard. I will meet you back on stage. Yeah. He knows the route. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Wait for the roll in. Nice patience, so, yeah. So scouted. Catching that roll on reaction, too. Beautiful stuff. Miles knows how to set himself up to react. That's a real difference. That is how he's able to connect so many of these huge hits. He's yeah. reacting, but before then, he is preemptively positioning. That is a really good way to put it. Setting himself up to react. We saw the roll in get scouted. He's being those... set up for success. Exactly. By himself. He and... studied. Ooh, okay. Wow. Ooh, needs to find a way to be able to land here. Numbers exerting a lot of pressure in Miles, actually. Just not going to be patient through that sun salutation. That is all the difference now. All of a sudden, Miles, a little bit of a deficit. A opportunity for Numbers, but no big hit. Such as Yoshi and that air speed. That mm. damn air speed. He is able to leave whenever he so feels like it. <laughs> okay, we have the egg roll. Interesting option. Still somehow gets punished. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
I was like, it could be anyone. It could, it could have been an air or a down It could have been you. Way. It could have been him. <laughs> and the back air evens it up too. Maybe caught John holding in on that one. Two stocks apiece. Miles moving, deep breathing. Oh, yeah. Right off the platform. Just double jumping, trying to mix up Numbi's movement, trying to get mm -hmm. rid of that Angel Plot and vulnerability. Does so successfully. And now all of a sudden, I feel like Miles is not nearly uh, starting as these like massive combo strings as he right, did in his right. winning side set against John. What made him so scary was he got a hit and then he dealt 60. Now right. he's dealing a hit and it's not a, not a whole lot. I think the difference has mostly been hinged entirely on F-Tilt. We see Miles start off with those F-Tilts or up-Tilts that were so explosive in the first set. Not really hitting them right now. A lot of it has to be said Ooh. about how like Numbies is just being more cognizant yeah, of yeah. what Miles is using to approach. It seemed like there was like a bit of like, ooh, I need to remind myself about this matchup mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Definitely seeing some of those memories come in to fruition. All of a sudden, 90% Miles on the back foot, which is something we didn't get to see at all in their last set either. Yeah. And now we've got the classic ledge pressure. Numbers trying to get up into dash in. Kind of like that. Didn't work out, but mm -hmm. could be good. All right, looking for that back here. And now Miles just looking for a way to be able to Ooh. land back here. Gets that up tilt, but uh, did the deep breathing just run out? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, very unfortunate timing, but that's going to give Numbers some time to breathe. Interesting. Interesting is one way to put that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the roll on working out. Miles kind of stuck at the ledge. John Numbers charging. Oh, wow. that neutral is so like, that preemptive. Huge. Okay, I like that idea. Back to the ledge, too. A rare miss from Miles. Only going to be the jab punish. I'm surprised how fast he got that jab after right. the neutral. I was like, oh, that's uh, three hitboxes in the <laughs> blink of an eye. Leave it to Yoshi. Right? Ooh, putting the shield up just in time. This is so dangerous. 176 on Miles. Wow. There it is. The sun salutation. Taking it. All of a sudden... I'm not exactly sure who's going to take it. I was very confident before, but these first two games have been something else. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting. Definitely like, not. at all, quite frankly. Um, Numbers is fighting back, and he is fighting back hard. Mm -hmm. He is, A, making it back onto the stage, and B, he is denying Miles of some of his biggest combos. He that comes back wild. on. He gets that grab. He gets that back throw. Whoa. And, ugh. And what the is going header on? to keep the edge guard going, but the egg toss going to break it up. Got to be the kill for sure. Jab into the down special. 96 is a lot. But That's a funny thing to do, right? Because if somebody yeah. shields, they could also just like result in a shield win. Right, right. Which most people do after it's getting also, hit by like a jab. It's also just a funny little Yoshi move, you know? It is a funny little Yoshi Very move. Very quirky. Oh, okay. Interesting idea. Kind of breaks up the tempo. And we got a nice deep breathing as well. Going to lead Great right catch. into that up air, catching that jump. He was so confident in that oh. jump call out, too. Even through like the egg toss and everything, snow, going for a jump, gonna get hit with the up air. The header too, I love that. You know, I gotta say, this is this is a uh, Miles knows that he got that collision pass, so he's, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, not to say that Miles isn't gonna try and win anyway, but may take a couple more games before we see shades of winners finals, Miles. Oh yeah. Yeah, I feel like just like a lot of it is like coming down to that X factor that we saw in winning finals. Being able to take those stocks off so soon, being able to minimize the amount of interactions with your opponent to be able to deal that much damage. Mm -hmm. That wasn't necessarily present that last game. And then similarly, uh, on the other side, excuse me, Numbers is like defensive gameplay, him playing back, him being just like cognizant of a lot of Yoshi's options, just being able to go and get dash grabs like that. Right. Like, who is he? Who is he? <laughs> we saw like no dash grabs in the winner set, and now all of a sudden, a lot of really good ones in this set so far. No deep breathing here. It's going to be tough for John Numbers to get something particularly explosive, but still a lot of damage on Miles. Some good stage control as well. I really Ooh. did not expect Miles to keep like swinging in that situation. I felt right. like by the time that Numbers was landing, that would have been like the time to be able to chill. But uh, Miles, a lot of options. Nothing that he could do to get past that header. You don't want to air dodge though because Numbers will be able to run out and hit you for it. Wow. <laughs> 35 from the up tilts. But oh, there it is. That's a good up tilt, too. Good down here. What the heck? What the heck, indeed? What's <laughs> happening up there? I can't see. <laughs> Didn't sound like anything good, but we are back down here in the center. John Numbers looking to extend the lead and looking pretty comfortable with it right now. What the heck was that? <laughs> okay, Miles. All right. Oh, All my right. God. <laughs>
<laughs> it still didn't even kill all of that effort that we want. The comedic timing of the volleyball just coming back. <laughs> Some very good stuff. But that down special not doing it either. Okay, that's okay. got to be it for sure. Miles trying to fight back. But this is, uh, I think this is one of those games where you say, let's just bring it to the reset. Well, maybe, maybe not. Okay, well, gets the F till that time again. That was like perfect spacing on it too. The delayed landing as well. Almost gets that tech chase with the dash attack as well. Miles, uh, definitely coming alive a little tiny bit here. Hopefully it's not oh. too little, too late. Uh, had the roll scouted, but didn't get the punish off. Finally fighting back, some big up airs. Ooh, I'm surprised numbers didn't wow. spike. Okay, but well, you said what? Uh, what were you saying? Uh, uh, Numbers in what? Uh, back in reset, baby. Hey, yeah, true, finals. The true finals. Woo. It wouldn't Woo. be a Xeno if we didn't get a true finals. I always love just peeping the... Uh, not a complete thought. It wouldn't be a Xeno if it's not for the true finals with Jonathan Numbers. Of course, of course. Yeah. Shouts out to that one guy on Twitter. I'm just, <laughs> just stacking up the accolades, all the number sets I've commentated. No, it's like... like what do you call like those badges or like those medals for like doing a successful like tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that. I have that one. It's my FNY pin. <laughs> <laughs> my you get an FNY pin yeah. every yeah. single time that you successfully commentate. You can hear me walking the venue. In the blue set. <laughs> just like... You're just jingling. Yeah, exactly. All that metal on your body. <laughs> But we are back here on Pokemon Stadium, which is an actually surprising pick for anyone besides, well, I mean, normally not a surprising pick, but definitely is now. Oh, yeah. So I don't know how, Ooh. like, how long this has remained true, but I remember, like, way back when uh, um, I spoke to Suarez about, like, which stages to go versus Yoshi or not. And, like, I don't know how potent, potent it is in general, but Suarez did say that he thinks that PS2, well, at least at the time, uh, that PS2 is like Yoshi's best stage. Interesting. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. The way that like Yoshi is able to like ledge trap you uh, and like have a platform above his head is like the best possible positioning uh, for them to ledge trap with eggs. Jeez, it's I can, like uh, you're not getting off that ledge. I can see that. One of the worst positions though is to be fighting John Numbers right now. This has been kind of rough. Going oh, yeah. from one side of the stage to the other. The dash attacks, the dash grabs. John Numbers is picking all the right options, seemingly. Another dash grab. Okay. I mean, I feel like this is just the universal thing of like fighting games. If you get grabbed, you didn't just get grabbed. It is a call out. Yeah, yeah. That you... When somebody's connecting that many grabs at a row, that is, yo, this is a big, big sign for you to do something else, anything else. You're messing up, and yeah. you know how. <laughs> Okay, some more pressure here. Trying to look for that roll in. Yeah, you just get a duck under that platform. You're just able to be uh, nice and patient out there. But Miles oh. wanted to get a little bit aggressive with it. Okay. Sure. That was, that was so. Cute. I was. I was nervous, honestly. On okay. whose behalf? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I was just nervous in general. It was so tense for both of them. Covering that roll in yet again with a nair and oh, yeah. what a follow up too. Two hundred percent. Somehow still alive, able to get that stock off with the boot. We are in New York after all. And John Number is just exploding Yoshi, sending him back to, uh, you know, whatever age he died. Yoshi's Dinosaurs. Island. That's where he's from. Mm -hmm. Man, what a terrible name for an island. <laughs> oh, big damage from the Sun Salutation. Do we have a jump? Yeah, we have a jump. Human Island. I'm saying, yeah, if I was just. Like, yeah, I'm from Dara Land. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, that, that actually, that actually like, kind of sick. sick. That yeah. would also kind of sick. The four dare. Finally, some edge guarding, which we kind of uh, missed in the last couple of games. Oh yeah. Okay, just backing off a little bit. Not Ooh. trying to jump in after that head or anything. Mm -hmm. Making it back on, air dodging, and then numbers ends up uh, just grabbing it, actually. Which I don't know if that was necessarily a choice. I agree with, but. He is now stuck at the ledge. He is stuck in a coin again. Miles is just sitting in that shield. Okay, finally finds some footing, but the dash grab missing and the down tilt was a really nice extension. Ooh. Okay, back to neutral here. Oh, that was a huge nair, actually. John numbers back at the ledge. A lot of charge here. Gonna get the deep breathing as well, so we may, might see him fight back here. Okay, I like that. The dash back on the dash in and then catching the jump with the empowered up air. Really good stuff. Oh, yeah. Beautiful stuff, in fact. Oh, a waiting. Well, Is he waiting out the deep breathing? Perhaps. What was the like point? Just a, a moment, you know. Get some composure. Some more deep breathing. Numbers with the roll on. Sneaking in the up tilt trade. 
Again, it just keeps on getting him out of the, like, that down air. We've seen that over and over and right. over again. The amount of times that up tilt did what it had been meant to do, which is to anti -air. Okay, I like the patience here. Finally, though, it's going to be John Numbers. Two big hits all of a sudden. A lead. <laughs> what the heck? Wow, that was really good. He was so close to being able to cover that with the up as well. And, ooh, Miles wants that spike so, so badly. A Whoa. little bit too late, but fades back, gets that F smash. And now John. <laughs> He's dead. He's gone. He's gone. If one of those sword ears wasn't going to connect, Miles definitely had another one lined up. I love the spacing, the coverage with that forward smash, and then, of course, that offstage pressure, which, frankly, I was, was mm -hmm. asking for. I wanted more of it. And we and got it. Miles and delivered. True finals. Oh yeah. Jeez. Not the first set. No, we had no, to no, take no. it to two finals. Yeah, yeah. And look at I love the spacing here, the fade back near and then covering the dash, attack with the forward smash. And look at the egg lay. Catching egg lay. Okay. I, I can't even begin to What talk even about happened? How sick Why that. are you clipping? <laughs> Why did you clip through Yoshi? No oh my god. Ugh. But the egg lay covered John if he didn't do header, and then the forward air covered if he did. It was just so There's nothing else that he could have done at that point. It's Basically. disadvantage for a reason. Yeah. He did everything right, but it still is just not enough options at the end of the day. Ooh. Oh. A little bit of payback, but unfortunately not as effective against Wii Fit. It is against Yoshi. Fighting at the ledge, and the Yoshi grab coming in. He is exploiting that A speed. He is oh, yeah. just getting in front of Numbi's face, and then he is backing off and saying, oh, you thought you could hit me? Right. I'm too fast. <laughs> no. You were wrong. Oh, Nair. Really good move from Wii Fit's arsenal that we don't get to see too often. Not a lot of range on it, but super effective in those scrambles. Okay. Try to go through some, like, that was like a jab, jab, jump, view of this new trophy, right? right? That's like what I was like, mm, that's a Yoshi thing. They like doing that a lot. And oh my goodness, that up is. Yeah, catching that jump in from the ledge. Really powerful stuff, especially with the deep breathing. Now trying to put this pressure on, but ooh, the neutral air approach. Ah, uh, doesn't get the down and Miles just dropping on the execution a little tiny bit, but does that even matter? He's going out there, he wants that spike, but then Numbies recovers a little bit too close to the ledge. Ugh. Yikes, what a scramble. It's gonna be the up tilts for numbers though. No big punish on the landing, but Miles has to fight back for the stage. Whoa, okay. Beautiful. Nothing that he could have done. It's so rough. Yoshi just, it, like, what do you, the sour spot of that move also kills you too, so. You have to hit away Yoshi because yeah. you're really not, you know, outmaneuvering Yoshi. That Definitely man not. is fast. That dinosaur is so quick. 77% already onto the table. Wow. And like, what, that has to do so much for your momentum and what felt like such a rough spot. All of a sudden fighting back, putting a bunch Whew. of damage on, almost taking the stock. And punishing that hoop box extension, right? With yeah. that beautifully spaced back in. And now Numbi's stuck at the ledge. And uh, uh, somebody had that. Somebody had it. Mm -hmm. And you know, it just that's going to be payback for missing it the first time. So tough. But Miles definitely going to take it. Looking a lot more comfortable as the set goes on. John with some deep breathing. Going to have to make something happen. And that is a really big hit. Okay. What do we got here? Oh. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Optimal punish, yeah? And the patience from Miles, too, to just stay there, crouch the <gasps> whole time. So smart that he didn't go back up with an up he didn't go for the neutral, that he went for the up that time. That was the best possible option that he could have pressed. Mm -hmm. All right, good little frame trap there from Numbers. Going to sneak the back air in, mm -hmm. even it up. But this is such a rough spot to be in. Oh, my goodness, that's an even rougher spot. The up smash almost taking it. Okay. Eventually, something's gonna hit. Yeah. You press enough buttons at the ledge, you're Yoshi, you got enough active frames, and then John is gonna be able to jump into it. Miles, now gonna be going up 2 to 0. Oh, and uh, T's looking good. He's looking good. He's applying all that pressure. He definitely, is definitely. coming dealing off stage. I'm um, trying to think about like what kind of adjustments Numbies needs to make if he wants to make this look like the first set of grand finals. I don't know. It's, it's gonna be. Whatever possessed John Numbers to get those dash-ins, the dash grabs, that sort of ground movement that really gave him a mm -hmm. lot of solid openings. Hit presence. Yes, presence is a good word for it, in fact. We're going to see, need to see more of that and not getting stuck at the ledge because those ledge jumps, the ledge rolls, have all been getting scouted 59. out by Miles. Okay. 
I do get nervous every single time that he double jumps alongside John. Right, because right. I'm like, ooh, that's going to be a spike. That's going to be a side B. That is going to be something. Both of them making it back, though. Finally, John with a little bit of an opening here. Good. I like the forward tilt. Good at anti airing in a, in a weird way. Okay. Just for the tech chase. I'm surprised that he did not play something like a down smash. Yeah. Just through like the max possible coverage. <laughs> the header coming back for a little bit of revenge. And what a great option. The movement, the deep breathing, sun salutation, going to take that stock. Looking really good, but Miles immediately trying to look for a response. Oh, yeah. Just applying all this pressure at the ledge. John just getting up and saying, eh, you know what? It's a little bit too cold outside. I'm going back <laughs> in the pool. Well, I've tried this whole stage thing you're talking about. I'll be at the ledge. Um, I'm good. Okay. Ooh, really good pressure for mm. Miles. Just good recognition to that it was still like his turn to keep on swinging. Yeah. Um, to be able to go in with that neutral, but on John using the side B to be able to stall. I love the fact that he didn't hold on to that deep breathing. He wasn't too attached to it. He was like, you know what? Maybe I just gotta live. Right, and I think that's working out so far. John trying to extend the lead, and it's been good. The, the deep breathings have been coming in when they matter most. Forward throw, gonna set up for a punish, hopefully. No. Whoa, what the Ooh. heck? You've said what the heck so many times today. It, I'm not used to all this. They're making me say what the heck, because I am See what the heck consistently is going on? shocked. Yeah. These hecking characters doing these hecking things. Miles tried to move. Backer. He tried to move, quite frankly, a little bit too much. And uh, John was able to exploit that. Definitely catching some movement, trying to put the pressure on. But Miles is not really found that hit that mattered until so till then. Till then. Drag okay. down back into the up tilt and the up air as well. Miles has those confirms on deck. But alas, that up tilt not going to be able to connect. He's a little bit too far back to the right side. Ooh. That's exactly the thing that Miles is looking for. Definitely evens it up a little bit. The oh. delayed up air to not hit the shield to be able to hit John's next yeah. option after. Really good scramble there too. John numbers coming out on top. And good movement there. The spacing around that nair was so important. Okay. I never really listened into Yoshi's pummel animation, but it sounds like you're getting hit by like styrofoam. Interesting. Is, like he, is he not <laughs> chewing you? Or his teeth made out of styrofoam? The fuzzy one. We'll have to think about this later because we are already on the last stock. Miles at 97%. That's just a, like like two down airs. He'll be good to go. I swear he's been like slingshotting a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's done anything, but it is cool. That's all that really matters. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, this is admittedly a bit of a scary place for the numbies to be yeah. in. Every single time that he jumps, Miles is ready for it, and he's able to use his own ledger options against him. He's mm -hmm. able to punish them, but oh, how do you actually make it back onto the stage? Wow. Catching yet another jump with the up air. Big change of pace. Miles now the one who's getting kind of caught coming onto the stage, whereas John mm -hmm. was the one getting caught with those rolls earlier. Now Miles is getting caught just going for the regular get up or for the jumps, and John is there with a huge punish. Love that replay. What a head. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, he slipped. He slid. That was beautiful. So movement. nice. So sweat. All right. Whoa, look at him go. All right. <laughs> All right, so once again, potentially the final game of the evening, or definitely one of final two games. Yes. Uh, in fact, John able to make uh, that game happen in his favor. It is two finals after all. And now Miles with that coverage, covering that air dodge, backing off just in case Numbies decided to go for like a bit of a spike. And those up tilts, how many times have we seen that situation play out? They're so good. Yoshi always, you know, looking to land with an aerial and mix up whatever the aerial is, but they all lose the up tilt if timed correctly, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, Ooh. just jumping in place, really not committal ledge trapping, but wow, neutral to neutral it was the Wii Fit that yeah. wins that interaction. And John's figuring something out. The aerial timings have been so very good in just this set so far. The neutral air really coming in. And there's that dash grab, exactly oh, yeah. what I was asking about. Ooh. Okay. Wow, the back air, that shield is actually pretty damaged. But they're both looking for an opening right now. It's going to be John Numbers. The shield is damaged, but you know what? She's working on it, okay? <laughs> she's She's been through a lot. That's the important part, you know, improvement. That's it. It's not about where you are, it's where you're going. And Miles trying to make sure John Numbers is going to the blast zone. Hold on, though. Okay, just gonna this be holding tough. on to the ledge here. 
after this. Then out there, he was like, eh, this is a little bit too deep. I'm going to go back. Yeah. No, thank you. And there is that wonderful hitbox. The up special from We Fit. That took actually a dodge was spooky. Right? <gasps> wow. This is that punish. Oh, my goodness. Such a tense spot to be in. Oh. I, what's basic? I, I was going to say, I love the idea, too, facing the opposite way to get a little bit of extra space oh, while Miles is ready. Ah, oh, but he doesn't actually get that second up in. Yeah, I was ready for 60%, 70%. John wasn't, right. apparently. <laughs> he got off that gun. Hold on, though. Back How many back. sour hits is he going to get? I know. They're still good. The sour Give that hit. man a spike, please. <laughs> he needs it. Okay, I like the offensive pressure. Yikes. Miles just going to be slowing it down for a second. Yeah. Not always like too keen on approaching. But ooh. The amount of times that his downings have been like stuffed out at this point, I feel like it's doing him like more active harm than good. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about how good the up tilt is, but up the air, up air is yep. the same thing. You know, all of these approaching aerials, landing aerials too for Miles are just getting stuffed out by some really good anti airs from John Numbers. Finally, a change of pace. Ooh. Oh, no. That must have been a misinput, perhaps. They're stuck at the ledge. Good extension for Miles, but unable to find that hit that matters right now. Just some little hits here and there. Just holding on to shield. It oh. like, <laughs> what the heck? New Yoshi shield. I've never but, seen that one before. That was uh, quite close <laughs> yeah. to not existing at all, in fact. Wow, really good angle there from John. Of course, the hitbox there. Uh, Miles trying to land so subtly again, but Numbies with these callouts again and again and again. I mean, he's looking so clean with them. That forward air to sort of give you some insurance that the ledge and the dash grabs have been so good. So tight, so clean. Whoa! Ooh, somebody wants that kill. And you know what? He was a little bit greedy, but maybe that ambition was exactly what was valued in that marketplace at that moment. Miles coming in there so aggressively, able to get that tech chase with the neutral B as well. Okay, he is he is tooling up the heat a little yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely feeling a little bit different, trying to seal the deal. John Number still looking comfortable. Big back air. 161, no deep breathing. Yo, that's on Salutation, yeah. almost with Punish that egg. <laughs> that was just a couple of pixels, a couple of frames off, excuse me. Oh, egg toss, big damage. Bad spot to be in, but numbers always finding a way back. The that one movement. time that Miles had spaced his forward for John going to the ledge, John drifted out. Mm -hmm. Oh, love that spacing around that grab as well. Dangerous spot yet again. Miles Dangerous spot, especially when you use up your double jump like that. But Miles didn't get the oh. two frame that he wanted. Somehow still finds an aerial 169. John Numbers looking for anything, but Miles looking for the kill. It's that preemptive positioning. He jumped, and then <gasps> Numbers rolled in, and that's going to be the tech chase. That's going to be the up tilt. That's going to be the up and that's going to be Miles as you Xeno Saga champion. It all came down to something we have mentioned a couple of times, but it's going to be that John Numbers rolling in from the ledge. Miles was ready for it as he has been so many times mm -hmm. before the drag down into the up till into the kill. I just want to like take a second to like talk yeah. about like this like specific situation for Yoshi because if you jump preemptively, right, just think about like the amount of like potential that you have. You have neutral to be able to like cover like whatever is like yep. happening here, right? If somebody like neutral get ups and shields, that's a really good time to also go for like a neutral B uh, as like a funny little egg lay to be able to catch them. And the fact that somebody ledge rolls, this is the only fully reactable ledge option on Reef. It is exceptionally difficult, like alongside some others like Peach. But the fact that Miles was already in the air and he wasn't already pressing a button. That mm -hmm. is Miles just setting himself up for success. That is how he is able to reaction ledge trap. Because uh, I feel like a lot of ultimates ledge trapping, um, specifically in regards to something like ledge rolls, is being able to bait those unsafe ledge options. True, being true. get up attack mm -hmm. and ledge rolls. Those two are fully reactable, but why would an opponent go for those unless you trick them into thinking that it's safe? Right. Miles jumps, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, okay, I'm fine. I'm yeah. chilling. I can roll back on just fine. But he didn't drift in. He didn't fade in. He's just there. He's sitting. He's hanging out. He's like, oh, I'm ready for this. <laughs> so the, the best thing that you can do sometimes to like really bait somebody into going for like a get-up attack or, or like a ledge roll, dash and dash out. Yep. Dash and dash out. The classic. You know, so beautiful. Or you just, I don't know, short hop in place or something. Yep.
Uh, it, there's so many things that you can sort of do in that situation. We saw it really play out there. And like you said, Miles setting himself up for success. Mm -hmm. And it worked out. That is as successful as one could be. That's right. Coming in first. Yeah. But that is going to be it for us. That is going to indeed be it for us, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this iteration of Xenosaga. For those of you that are not already doing so, you should be following House of 3000 on Twitch. Uh, TV. once again, uh, we got a tournament happening every single Wednesday, every single Monday, a funny little smash tournament on Thursdays, and then on a Saturday of every single month, um, I believe the next one is going to be April 8th, I've uh, heard that, coming yeah. on up. I have heard that. And then, we should also do, after you've just like, you know, you've been in the know for a little bit, look at my lovely friend's Twitter handle. Put it in Twitter. Follow it. Do it. Get it done. And also follow Dara while you got it open, you know. You don't maybe. already. Yeah, if, you, if you don't already, maybe it's best we keep it that way. That's actually all right. That's okay. Everybody, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. I had a lovely time. You can actually catch us uh, at, at Collision. Next week. Next week, yeah. Friday, baby. That's we'll we're going to be uh, closing off some dubbies. And we'll see you guys there. So, once again, thank you so much. Hope everybody has a lovely rest of the evening. Whoosh.